classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. We got a big one. Let's go, Curtis. You guys ready to rock this thing? Come on, Lee. I know you are. Let's go get them. Teachers, what's up? How we doing? All right, Mr. Bass. I love it. And everybody at home, look what time it is. We're here. We're ready today. I got the students to my right. Give me a big thumbs up if you guys are ready to rock. Yeah. Teachers, they're always ready to roll. So I know you guys are ready. Today, it's Eastside Charter School from Wilmington, Delaware, in-house, ready to go head to head. They're officially in the classroom. And you guys know the draw. I let teachers go against their students to say who is smarter. But I put a little cash on the line, give them the bragging rights if they win this thing. And this game is off and running because pop quiz starts now. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, I love it. Middle school in the house, guys. Eighth graders across the board to my right and their teachers that made it all happen to my left. This game is officially underway. Here we go. China is located on what continent? First one in, coach. Asia. Asia is right. I'm gonna put this extra credit right here, right now. I'm putting 20 points on the board. What is 10 to the third power? Coach Everhart. 1,000. 1,000 is right. In the classic story of Christmas, Carol, what is the name of Bob Cratchit's son who is very ill but remains happy about Christmas? Miss Gimble. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim is right. There are three major states of matter, solid, liquids, and what? Mr. Bass. Gas. Gases is right. Here we go, students. Let's get you guys on the board here. Get ready. What is the term for a country that supports and helps another country, especially in the time of war? Symphony. An alliance. Is right. Nice. In Disney's Beauty and the Beast, what character rouses the town into a hateful frenzy and calls on them to storm the Beast castle? Coach Everhart. Gaston. Gaston. In math, the commutative and associative properties are rules applied to what two operations? Miss Gimble. Addition and multiplication. That's going to get you there. Up to 70 points. And oh my goodness, students. I know. I'm waving this one saying enough is enough. Teachers came out flying right there. Grabbed 70 points out of pop quiz. But students, hey, we broke the ice and we are on the board. Symphony got us there with that 10 point answer. So you're off to a great start. Look, guys, I am pumped to have you here. It's eighth graders and their teachers from Eastside Charter School in Wilmington, Delaware. You guys know them. We say go birds because it's home of the Eagles. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Aaliyah and I podcast and make commercials. Hi, I'm Nasir. I'm in eighth grade and I play baseball. Hi, I'm Symphony. I'm in eighth grade and I like art. Hi, I'm Mr. Bass. I'm an avid Blue Coats fan and Eagles fan. Hi, I'm Coach Everhart. I teach math and science and I go blues dancing in Philly every Sunday. Hi, I'm Ms. Gimbel. I'm the math specialist, and I have an extensive rubber ducky collection. Hey, great to meet all of our players. I love this. Students, you guys got off to a little tough start there. So much, in fact, every single one of you is still holding your buzzers like we're in the middle of this game. You guys, feel free to put those down. Relax. <laughs> feel free. The game is here. You're playing. Now, listen, Nasir, tell me, be honest right now. Do you want to send these teachers to detention? Yes. Real bad or just kind of bad? Real bad. Let's play then. Let's go. Detention is now. <laughs> Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. It's all about strategy here, students, teachers. Good luck to everybody as we jump into this. Students, you guys are trailing right now, so I'm going to give you this category to pass or play first, okay? Good luck. And here it is, science. Talk about it. Talk about it. Pass or play? I need to ask kind of science. Need an answer, you guys? We say pass. pass. Okay, we're going to pass. You guys understand, I'm looking at the cards right now. We have a science teacher right over here. You said, what? 
All right, I'm gonna give you this question. Good luck, everybody. How many hearts does an octopus have? Wow, that is a tough one. You sure? You cool? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Three. Three hearts is right, and that was our math job, teacher. I think that got that one. Very nicely done. I had no idea. That's a lot of love for one animal right there. And students, one of you is going to detention now. Teachers, who is it going to be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Symphony. Symphony. Oh. Eighth grader loves English, but she's going to love detention as she heads over there right now. All right. You hanging out? Get comfortable. We're going to send some more people your way, all right? All right. Teachers, category goes to you on pass or play, and here we go. Social studies. Play. You're going to play it? Here you go. Mm -hmm. What is the term for a rectangular ancient Egyptian burial structure with sloping walls and a flat roof, usually built using mud bricks? Talk about it. Sarcophagus. Thank you. We're going with sarcophagus. We were looking for a mastaba. The Mustafa. I don't remember that from my days back in the day, but that is why we call this a quiz show. All right, there you go. Not going to get it done. Students, you got to love this. The seer, you said you wanted to send the attention. Now is your chance. So who's it going to be, you two? They're left speechless at this point. You pass it here. Oh, coach. Coach Everhart. Nicely done. He's been hot here early. Send him. <laughs> All right, coach, you were hot, now you're not. You go to detention, you hang out right over there. And here we go, back to you on the category, students. Here we go, pass or play on English. Play. Play, play. here you go. What is the pronoun in the sentence, Michelle gave me a book? Let's talk about it. Michelle gave me a book, looking for the pronoun. Me. Need an answer. Oh, me. Me is right. There you go. Gets it done. A lot of confusion yes. right there. They didn't know who was on it. You guys nailed it. Good job. Is it going to be Miss Gimble or Mr. Bass going to detention? Out. Miss <laughs> Gimble. Miss Gimble. Miss Gimble out of there leaving uh. our CEO to hang out by himself. There you go. All right. I know, tough walk, tough walk. Joining, joining coach over there in detention. Here we go. And now it goes back to you, Mr. Bass, and here is your category. Sports. Play. <laughs> Do you want me to change the category? Are you, yeah. No, it feels good. He likes sports. Here you go. What team did the Philadelphia Phillies beat in the 2022 National League Wild Card Series? My brain, my brain just went blank. Uh, it's my favorite part of this show. Shoot. Name answer. Next. Looking for the St. Louis St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals. Oh my goodness. Which means, Coach, you got to go join Coach Mr. Uh, Bass. You're headed to detention. Symphony, get over here. Students win the round. Way to go, you guys. And that takes us in there. That puts, hey, that puts 40 points on the board. Gets you guys up to 50 on this game. Stay right there. These guys are making a run. When we come back, classroom continues. Back in studio today, it's the students and teachers from Eastside Charter School in Newcastle County. I'm standing next to the easel. I have these colored cards, so it's art class time. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, that's how you play. Do you feel confident after hearing those rules? A little bit. All right, a little bit. Hey, that's all you need is a little bit of confidence. Let me help. What color do you want to go with here, Symphony? She goes blue. Stand back here. You open up that card, take a look at it, and see what you're about to draw. You got it? 
Let me see, I'll take that for you. I'm gonna uncap this marker for you. I'm gonna give you five seconds. We're gonna put that on the clock, please. And time starts now. Here we go. Okay, stay right there. You guys ready? Talk about it. What did she draw? <laughs> Need one guess? A scooter? A person? Yeah, a scooter! It's right! Oh, you guys! Right. Listen, let me get <laughs> real close to the team on this one. You didn't say a word to one another. Not one word was spoken. And then the seal nailed that one out of nowhere. Hey, Symphony, that's all you needed to do is get close enough. You guys nailed it. Put 30 points on the board, and for the first time today, take the lead in this game. Let's switch up our teacher and our student here. Let's Ooh. bring them out. Let's bring you out, Miss Gimble. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna give you the next card here. All right. You open this up here. Okay. I'm gonna erase the board as we look at that. All right, that's what you're gonna draw, okay? All right. You only have five seconds to do it, so be ready on my time. Here we go, time starts now. Good luck. All right, getting into what she has to do. Stay right there. You guys ready? Talk about it. What do we got? It's a pig. A pig. Is that your answer? Our answer is pig. Bam! That is the right yes. answer and jumps right Good back job. into the league. Hey, All you right. never know what you're going to draw on the show. And there they go. They got a pig. How about it? The scooter, though. That was unbelievable. Hey, before break, I'm throwing some extra credit in the mix. Who wants to play? Okay, guys, I'm gonna ask one extra credit question. Be ready, because you're gonna have 60 seconds during the commercial break to write down your answer. Give you 10 points if you get it right. Hey, if you're playing at home, here's the question. In the number four and 573 thousandths, what number is in the tenths place? All right, there you go. Hopefully you guys know this one. Get a calculator, get the little thing with the ball, you just move, whatever it takes. When we come back, I'll give you the answer. Stay right there. What is that thing called? Is that an abacus? Abacus! Welcome back to the classroom. Today, it's the students and teachers from Eastside Charter School in Newcastle County. Hey, both sides playing great today, you guys. The eighth graders are like, I am smarter than my teacher. They're so close to that big fat check and to say they are. Well, who wins this thing? We find out next, but extra credit is on the line before we get there, guys. So here was the question. In the number four and 573 thousandths, it's a big number. What number is in the tenths place? We're gonna start with our students. Aaliyah, what'd you say? Um, I don't I said seven. Incorrect, no extra credit there. <laughs> she looks at the seer like you steered us wrong. Teachers, what'd you say? Show everybody at home. There it is, a five is what we were looking for. Yeah, 100%. That gets you up to 110, not a big deal. But Aaliyah, guess what? You're still only 8,930 points back right now. And there's over 330 points still left in the show. So if you do win this thing, where's that $500 going to go? Um, oh, field trips. Oh, field trips? Do you have anywhere in particular? I think you said as long as it's not educational. So you want to go somewhere fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all do. That's the key here. All right, good luck there. A lot of, lot of students back at your school pulling for you right now. Mr. Bass, if you win it, where's that money gonna go? We're buying books for one school, one book. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be great. Any subject in particular? Uh, we're doing uh, literature, so we're looking at uh, Kwame Alexander's book. Awesome, you guys, that's great. 500 bucks will go a long way for you as well. Hey, everybody smile big because picture day is next. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We will show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I will give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, you remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify that picture will win 10 points for their team. 
If you get it wrong, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, a lot on the line. We have three pictures today, so let's do this. Let's jump into that first picture. Let's cover that thing up with boxes, and let's get into it. Here's your first clue, teams. He's from New Jersey. Hmm. It's not a lot there. Okay, I give you clue number two. Do me a favor, take three more boxes away, please. This singer has a prominent scar on his eyebrow. Hmm. It's a tough one. Nothing there. Let's do it one more time. Three more boxes. Here you go. His hit songs include Attention, We Don't Talk Anymore, Marvin Gaye, and Light Switch. Buzz in if you know it. No answer there. The big one was Charlie Puth. Let's take a look at him. There he is. Yeah. We don't talk anymore. Is my best impression of Charlie. That's pretty good. All right, let's get another picture up there here. Let's see it. You ready, guys? Buzzers in hand. It dates back to the 13th century. Mr. Bass. Magna Carta. Is that the Magna Carta? That sure is the Magna Carta. Nice, nice job. job. Nice. Who is this man? He created the Magna Carta. There it is. OK, nicely done. I had all these extra clues. Who needs them? I don't, not us. Let's go to picture number three, get you up to 120. Congrats. Clue number one. This person claims they cook the best crawfish people ever had. Huh. OK, no answer there. We move to clue number two. Here it is, guys. This athlete's dad was also his high school coach. Mr. Bass. Is that Mr. Hertz? I'm going to need first and last name. Jalen Hurts, the greatest MVP football quarterback <laughs> of Philadelphia Eagles. Wordy answer is the right answer. That's exactly right. <laughs> Mr. Jalen Hurts, the greatest MVP anyone's ever seen in the NFL. Yeah. I agree. Couldn't agree more. Took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, that is it for Picture Day. Teachers, you're up to 130 points, and you're flying high right now. Go birds. And then Aaliyah, Nasir, and Symphony are playing a great game. You guys sit at 80, but 300 points is already waiting for you guys in the final exam. Let's head there now. Okay, here's your topic. Today's final exam is go with the flow. This means all the questions have something to do with water. Just go with the flow. But ask both teams three questions about go with the flow. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. Teams, here are your questions. Best of luck. Let's do it. We start with this. Question number one. What is the term for a man-made waterway that connects two bodies of water? Hmm. Question number two, going with the flow. In Chapter 3, Season 4 of Fortnite, Lustrous Lagoon was added to the map, replacing what other lagoon? It's my favorite drop, fun fact. Finally, Question 3. What process allows a plant's roots to absorb water and nutrients from the soil? Okay, those are your questions. It's all about going with the flow, all to deal with that water. 60 seconds on the clock, teams. When I say go, you're going to try to answer these things with all of your abilities to put them together. But who wins it? Will it be my eighth grade students or the teachers say not today, kids? We run the classroom. We find out when this show concludes next. the classroom today to students and teachers from east side charter school in newcastle county it's going head to head students you guys played a great game so far you're right there 80 points on the board teachers still holding the lead though up with 130 and it's anybody's game as we are headed in to the final exam Aaliyah, what happens in final exam time we we cram for the test right do you feel like you cram today <laughs> okay, that's a deep breath right there. She's saying, get to the questions, Richard, and I got you. All right, well, today's the topic final exam is go with the flow. Before the break, I asked both teams three questions. Each correct answer teams is going to get you 100 points. 
300 up on the board. So let's jump into it. Who's going to win this thing? I can't wait to find out. Come on, eighth graders. Here we go. We start with this question number one. What is the term for a man-made waterway that connects two bodies of water? Remember, guys, we're looking for man-made here. Okay, we start with our student, Symphony. River. Not river. Okay, stay right there. 80 still is where you guys stand. Miss Gimbel, what did you say? We said canal. A canal is the right answer. It gets you guys up to 230, and that lead has now pushed to the point where you guys have to get this right, and at least one of these next two to stay with this one. So here we go. In chapter three, season four of Fortnite, Lustrous Lagoon was added to the map, replacing what other lagoon? I'm a huge Fortnite guy. I landed there all the time. The question, Coach Everhart, is did you? And if you get this right, get ready. The check is yours. Black Lagoon? Black Lagoon, incorrect. The door remains open for our students. Nasir, before you show us this answer, you must get this right or the game is over and teachers get ready. Those books are coming your way. Nasir, what did you say to stay in the game? That's Swappy Lagoon. Swappy Lagoon is incorrect. Lazy Lagoon is the answer. Teachers, you guys win the game in $500. Going back with them. Hey, what process allows the plants roots to absorb water and nutrients from the soil? We are looking for osmosis right there. Hey, students, you guys played a great game today. You guys have some fun over there? We love it. They love it. They had the last one. Teachers, great job. You got the bragging rights. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you next time on The Classroom. Until then, hey, do your homework, kids.